Hi, Pankhurst, and um, welcome to your second science lesson this week. So before we get into our science lesson, I just wanted to talk about our live session this morning. So in our live session this morning, we discussed about our first science lesson, which you should have done yesterday. And yesterday's lesson was about magnetic strength. Um, I had carried out an investigation, which was um, which you should have watched and you were also given the option to carry out your own investigation if you had magnets and paper clips at home. So in my investigation, I used a horseshoe magnet and a bar magnet, and I had um, created a chain of um, paper clips to see how many would attract to the magnet, okay? And I had to attach them one by one until the paper clip had lost the strength to attach the next one. Now, um, I had um, Ritesh tell me that he made his own magnets at home. So Ritesh had got a magnet and rubbed it on his um, fork and rubbed it on his, um, his paper clip. And then his paper clip and fork started acting like their own magnets. However, they didn't keep the magnetism for long, which is fine. And that's normal. And that happens. OK. Um, also, some children were saying how um, they had recorded themselves talking about my investigation because that was one of the um, task options that you were given. And on Tapestry, I have seen some amazing speech bubbles using your people voice telling me about the investigation that I had carried out. OK, so now. After the investigation, what I had found was that both my magnets had attracted the same amount of paper clips, which were four. However, I don't know if I had used different magnets or I don't know. Maybe if you had tried at home as well with your magnets, you would have probably got a different result. OK. Now that we are done with our live session recap, um, let's get into today's session. So today is one, Wednesday, the 3rd of February 2021, and our second science lesson is about understanding magnetic fields. So our learning objective today is can I understand what, a mag what magnetic fields are? So have a look at this picture. Do you remember what these pictures represent? So have a look at which way um, the poles are facing. What do you think these pictures represent? So I have a south facing a south, I have a north facing a north, and a south facing a north. What do you think the first one represents? Fantastic. It's repel. So it's repelling. The two south poles are repelling from each other, okay? Then what about this picture? Fantastic. So they're pushing away from each other as well, the north and the north. So the two north sides are repelling. And then the south and the north are pulling towards each other, which means they are attracting. OK. Today we will learn about magnetic fields and what they are. So here I have a picture showing you an um, showing you a magnetic field. OK, what do you think a magnetic field is? Put your thinking caps on. What do you think a magnetic field is? Fantastic. So a magnetic field is when the area around a magnet in which there is magnetic um, is the area around a magnet where there is magnetic force. OK. Moving electric charges can make magnetic fields. Now, I must um, emphasize to you the fact that magnetic fields are invisible. You cannot see them, OK? It's just an area around a magnet which has a magnetic force. Magnetic fields are made of very small electric charges which come out of the North Pole and go into the South Pole. So they come out of the North Pole, the electric charges, and then they go into the South Pole. OK, 
So now here you can see an example of um, the magnetic fields um, going in and out and around the magnet. So I've got a fun fact for you here. Did you know that rocks can be magnetic too? There's a rock called a lodestone, which contains iron oxide. If a lodestone is placed in water, it points to a north or south direction. The same happens if you float a steel pin on water or hang a bar magnet up in the air. So now, um, if you have a look at this picture here, there's a lodestone in a bowl of water. So when you put that stone in there, it starts facing or pointing towards a north and south direction. So now, uh, this section is about Earth, okay? The Earth itself is a giant magnet. Look, have a look at this picture. Obviously, the magnet, when you see a picture, when you look at Earth from um, the universe, or space, it doesn't have a visible magnet like that. But what this is, what this picture is trying to show you is that Earth is a huge magnet itself. Yeah, it has its own magnetic field. So Earth has its own magnetic field, which comes out of the north side and goes in the south side. OK, the inner core of the Earth spins slightly faster and this creates the magnetic field. So do you remember in our geography lesson um, a few months ago, we were looking at Earth's core and we said that Earth's core is very hot and underneath Earth's crust, including Earth's crust, all the layers are rock, but each layer turns more and more into a liquidy rock. OK. Now, or a solid rock. So Earth in a core is a mass um, creates a massive magnetic field which makes Earth a giant magnet. The north side of the magnet points towards Earth's magnetic north pole. So if you look at um, a magnet, the Earth the north side of a magnet will always point towards Earth a magnetic north pole. Okay. So for example, when you look at compasses. The magnetic field sometimes flips and south becomes north and north becomes south. So sometimes the magnetic field around Earth will flip around. Sometimes it will, um, uh, you know, go around and um, go between north and south and sometimes it will go from south to north. The magnetic field protect protects us from the sun. So the reason Earth is a huge magnet and has a magnetic field is so that us people, us humans, are protected from the rays of the sun, okay? Magnetic fields are invisible. They can't be seen around a mag bar magnet. So do you remember I explained to you earlier on that um, magnetic fields are invisible? So whenever, you know, you see a magnet, you will never see magnetic fields around it visibly because they are invisible. If we sprinkle iron fillings around the magnet, they'll show the magnetic fields to us because they feel the force. So now, for example, if I was to have a, um, a bar, bar, bar magnet in front of me and I sprinkled all these iron fillings around it, they will start shaping themselves in a way, um, they'll start shaping themselves around the magnetic fields to show you where the magnetic fields are. So they align themselves along the lines of force showing the magnetic field lines. So if you can see here, yeah they're showing them they're aligning themselves so they can show you the magnetic field lines now that you've been given some information about magnetic fields your tasks are the following activity one is draw a bar magnet with the magnetic fields and write down two facts you learned from this lesson then activity two is do your own research on magnetic fields make sure you use your e-safety rules OK, then write a paragraph of your facts or do a recording saying your facts. OK, I look forward to your um, look forward to seeing your. Um, tapestry year, uh, year three and I'll see you in your next lesson. Goodbye.